Hey everyone, I'm Dylan with On One, and in this video, I want to show you how you can quickly smooth out skin using On One Photo Raw 2018. So to get started here, I have my photo open up inside of Develop, and the only thing I've done to it so far is I've cropped it. So I'm going to hit the backslash key on my keyboard, and you'll see that the only thing I've applied to this photo is a crop. And there's actually not a whole lot I want to do to this photo in terms of tone and color. This photo was actually taken by Whitney Stevens, one of our On One team members, and she's an amazing portrait photographer. So whenever she shoots a photo, it doesn't really require too much post-processing. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull up on my contrast to give my photo a little bit more detail and to make it come to life a little bit. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to head down to my black slider and give it a little bit of true black. So now that we have a basic tone for our shot and we're not just looking at a raw image, now what I want to do is I want to begin smoothing the skin. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on the face so that it fills the screen. And then I'm just going to head over to my retouch brush real quick, which is this button here. And now this is where I like to remove any sort of blemishes like pimples or acne. So I'll just make my brush size a little bit smaller with my bracketed keys. And then you can just click on whatever blemish you have and it'll remove it right away. So now that we have all of the blemishes removed from our model's face, the next thing I want to do is I just want to head over to my clone stamp tool here, and I just want to fix these couple dry areas on her lips. So I'm just going to use a quick target point inside of her lips that isn't dry, and now I can just brush that area onto her lips to clean it up a bit. And I can do the same thing for the other side. So there we go. Now if I zoom out, you can't even tell she has any dry spots on her lips at all. So now that we've retouched our model's face a bit, the next thing I want to do is I want to smooth the skin. And there's two different filters I like to add to smooth skin. So let's head into effects. And the first filter I like to add is skin retouching. The skin retouching filter is a great filter for smoothing skin because it basically gives you all of the controls needed to smooth out skin. If you're looking to do it quickly, what I like to do is I'll just zoom in on my model's face. I'll set mine to strong so that I can really see how it's being applied. And then I'll grab my skin color dropper tool. I'll drop it on an area of her face. And then it's being applied to the entire photo. So what I'll do now is I'll head up to my masking options. I'll invert the mask. And now I can just simply brush on where I want that skin smoothing to be applied to. So now if I turn this on and off, you'll see it does an awesome job of smoothing out the skin. So if I zoom out here, and I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, you'll see we did a great job of setting a nice mood for our image and also smoothing out the skin and removing the blemishes. And the last way I like to smooth out skin is I'll just remove this skin retouching filter and I'll add a filter and I'll actually add a blur filter. I'll set my blur to about maybe one or two probably. And I'll just zoom in on the face real quick. I'll go up to my masking options again and invert the mask. And you can just brush that blur on at a very low level and it'll sort of imitate smoothing of the skin. So now if I turn that on and off, you'll see that by adding that small amount of blur, it really helped to smooth out our model's skin. And the great thing about these filters is that you can always play with the opacity. So if you need a little less blur or a little more skin smoothing, you can easily do that by just simply messing with the opacity. So those are a couple quick ways that you can smooth out skin using Amon Photo Raw 2018. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm Dylan with On One, and thanks for watching.